Hey, my name is Joe. Today I'm going to show you how I integrate Band in the Box into Logic Pro X. Yeah, so um, I'm going to start us off into Band in the Box. Let's hop over to Band in the Box here. Okay, in Band in the Box, I have a jazz song playing. And the question, basically they want to find out if you can get uh, Logic drummers to play jazz. So... I have already loaded up Autumn Leaves in here. A couple things you need to see. I got three choruses. Normally when I'm recording, I don't use uh, repeats, but this one we will. And it's chorus at 110 BPM. We have bass, piano, and drums that will be exported. If you want to adjust any of the chords, do so now. Uh, this is all set, and it's going to have a two-bar ending in a four bar intro. So let's move on over to Logic Pro. Okay. Logic Pro, uh, you'll see in a new project, I've already labeled the arrangement. We have a one, two, three, four bar intro, just like being in the box. We have a verse and a chorus, a verse and a chorus, a verse and a chorus, and a two-bar outro. I always um, I keep my choruses green and my verses blue. Instrumentals is usually pink. Just help me um, walk through that. Anyways, so in here, we add a software instrument. In the software instrument, we have Band of the Box. So right here with Band of the Box, I can click that, and it's going to load up. Autumn leaves. I've already done this for us, but I'm going to I'm going to just start from afresh, just so you can see how it goes. I'm going to open. Actually, before we get there, if you don't see Band of the Box here, you hit this button. You go AU Instruments PG Band of the Box Stereo, um, and you can get. A uh, really inexpensive uh, version of Band of the Box. I have about in the middle of the road. I think I spent about 200 bucks. Um, and basically, the difference is how many real tracks you're going to get. And the real tracks make a huge difference. So here we go. Let's grab this on these just so you see how when it loads. There's two things I want you to do. One is shut off the lead in. It's gonna. That's it's a uh, clicks at the beginning. Shut that off. It'll throw off your tracks, and then you hit generate. While this is generating, you'll see I don't have any other tracks here. It's going to um, populate on its own, and we're just going to drag them over to that. Um, you'll also see. I'm going to open up this part here. I need that in a minute. Okay, so let's just drag them over. Let's bring the drums up first. Grab the wave. Ride the wave. There you go. There's a drum. Let's put the piano. Let's put some bass. Okay, if you just want to hear how that sounds, hopefully this isn't too loud. That is Band in the Box Real Tracks. They've sampled uh, real players playing. So. Slightly different than the old MIDI style. Okay, here we go. Let's shut this down for a second. Make sure you can still see this. We are now going to integrate Logic Drummer. So, new drummer track. All right. If we are on Songwriter, that's where I wanted to be, but not Darcy Pop Songwriter. I want Austin Brush. Man, that sounds like a great band name. Okay. Now, Austin, I can go in heavily edit these, but basically for this, whoa, that ain't what I want. I want you. You want follow. And then we want to grab the real drums. Right now we are in swing. Let's go like a 
66%. I, I'm guessing this might work. Let's solo out both these drums. Boom. Yeah, we could EQ that out to make it sound a little better, but it looks like it's following along. So we shut that off. Yeah, so now Austin is playing jazz. You could delete the band of the box file, or you could do what I just did here and just pan them out a little bit side to side. It'd be like a rare club that you had two drummers. Eh, interesting. But it does give you a nice full sound. I like to keep my drums together. Let's turn down that track. So yeah, uh, so now you can go ahead and make your own audio tracks. You can add in a keyboard, you can add in your sax, you can add in your guitar. Delete the uh, band of the box ones and go from there. One of the cool things about this band of the box, I use this for songwriting but while tracking this will always be like a bouncing ball and it shows you exactly what chord is coming up next even if you were to mute all those tracks it's still going to show you what chord is coming up next so for tracking like me I sometimes get lost this is a great tool you can just turn it on and follow the bouncing blue box <laughs> all right so here we go, let's shut that off. So in conclusion, that's uh, basically one of the ways I, I integrate uh, being in the box. Uh, this is 2019, or what version do I got? I, I got, oh, this is a new one, 2021 um, version for being in the box. This is just an update. I think I have 2020 Mac 19, um, kind of like the middle of the road bundle. Um, gets me most things I'm going to get as uh, soon I'm going to invest into the pro it's almost like $500 so uh, but you can just upgrade as you go and there is a free version of this so good luck with that I hope you uh, enjoy and um, I'll see you again let's uh, hear that track one more time and we'll let it fade out Red and gold. I see your lips, the summer kisses. 